Hi, welcome to the Stockholm School of Economics and to webinar three. My name is Anna Monson and I'm the Alumni and Corporate Engagement Manager here at SSE. Let's go inside. In this webinar, you'll get an insight into our career support, the mentorship program, and the SSE Business Lab. You'll also get to meet some of our alumni who will share their experiences from their time here at SSE and give you some tips and advice. Let's begin. Did you know that over 90% of our master graduates found employment within three months of completing their studies? And out of these, over 80% found a position before completing their studies. Every third international student decided to work in Sweden after their studies, and this number has grown over the past few years. So, if this is something that you'd be interested in, the possibilities are high. Over 40% of our alumni are currently working for one of SSE's corporate partner companies, such as Goldman Sachs, Atlas Copco, Bain & Company, H&M, Boston Consulting Group, McKinsey & Company, Deloitte, and many more. We also have SEMS corporate partners like Google, Eon, Procter & Gamble, and L'Oreal, to mention a few. During the past two years, the average yearly salary of our master graduates, one year after finishing their studies, was over 60,000 US dollars. For more information and details, please visit our website and download our master's employment report. Let's move on and meet some of my colleagues. First up is Mia Ern from the career management team. Hi, do you know what you'd like to work with once you finish your studies? Well, no matter if you have your dream job aligned for you or if you have no idea what you want to work with, me and my colleagues here at the SSC Career Management, we're here to support you to find your own path in the future professional life of you. So I thought I'd share with you some of the resources that you have while you're a student at the SSC. Once you come to the Stockholm School of Economics, you become part of what I like to call like an ecosystem. It consists of our corporate partner companies, our faculty, alumni, and you as a student at the SSC is already part of this. What do I mean by the ecosystem? Well, you have, for example, the corporate partners that join the school because they want to access research and the network, but if you ask me, they really want to get to the talented students to be able to recruit people like you. So they're here actively uh, looking for students of the SSE and they post uh, information about themselves and their job opportunities or internships at our online job board. They also come and do company presentations, etc. But they're a great network to tap into if you want to gain some work experience, maybe already while you're studying. And if you look at who works at our corporate partners, you'll find quite a few of our alumni there. Obviously, the alumni is the big family that was formed during their years here at the school already when they were students. But then this network, I would say, keeps on growing and evolving also once you leave the SSC. And you'll find many exciting alumni from the SSC having started their own companies or working in, in larger corporations, even in the public sector. So if you come here and start studying, once uh, in the future, you'll also be part of, of that network. Many of our alumni also come back to the school to share their experience with current students, sharing their tips and ideas and how to do it. Some come to share their bigger failures, etc. So we can also learn from the alumni community while you're here as a student. Talking about being a student here, I would say when I look down here at the uh, atrium and I see all these students studying there, I'm thinking, ah, oh, they're already shaping their network. And who knows, maybe you will get a job from a classmate of yours in the future. And some of our students, or many I should say, have work experience already or do an internship parallel to their studies here. 
And of course, another part of our ecosystem is the faculty itself. That is, your teachers. They do research in business, on organizations, and they have like one foot here at the school and one foot in business. Many of them do also do uh, workshops and, and leadership um, work with companies out there. And they could be active both in the private sector or the, the public sector. And then of course we have the business lab, the SSC business lab. If you're not looking for a job, but rather to create jobs, to create your own company, that's also, there's also resources for that here. So when you come to the SSC, I always encourage students to start exploring this ecosystem from the beginning. And for you to be able to tap into it, we have this great online resource, the SSC Career Hub, where we gather all these job and internship ads directly directed in particular to SSC students and other more global opportunities beyond Stockholm, beyond Sweden. We also have several clinics every year where we work to perfect your CV or your cover letter. You can come practice interview techniques. We even have a CV lab where you break your CV against a million other CVs to get points to improve it. So all of that is online, on demand, whenever you need it. You can also practice mock interviews in this tool. So all of this is given to you for free as a student at the SSC. But having said all of this, if you have doubts or concerns, hope, fears, dreams, anything you'd like to actually discuss with a human person, <laughs> then feel free to book an appointment with me or any of my coaching colleagues and we'll be more than happy to see you. Starting at SSC is not just about classrooms. It's also about making a great connection to the business world. The SSC Mentorship Programme is a unique programme that helps our master students with a transition to business world by connecting students with SEC alumni from around the world. Every year, more than 200 students are paired with mentors who are thriving in their fields, who are giving their time and knowledge to inspire our students to become the next generation of business leaders. Our mentors are all experienced professionals uh, from SEC alumni or SEC corporate partners. Every year, more than 200 master's students are paired with mentors who are thriving in their fields, who are giving their time and knowledge to inspire our students to become the next generation of business leaders. Our mentors are all experienced professionals from SEC alumni or corporate partners and they represent a broad range of industries and career paths. Our global SEC alumni network also enables mentoring across borders. During the program, students and mentors work together over an academic year with at least four personal meetings. Our mentors will guide you to explore your future careers, provide insights into workplace culture, and help you with building your professional network. So whether you're exploring your potential career paths or already have a career in your mind, your future SEC mentors will be there to motivate, challenge, and inspire you to pursue your goals. This could be an invaluable experience and an opportunity to get support, guidance, and gain insights beyond what your education can provide. My name is Helge Gernhardt. I'm originally from Berlin, but now I uh, live in Stockholm. I studied uh, the Master in International Business, CEMS, from 2016 to 2018. And this summer I founded a real estate company here in Stockholm. I participated because I thought it would be a lot of fun to meet exciting people. But I also wanted to get to know uh, local people who could uh, tell me more about the Swedish perspective on things and uh, I also wanted to build a network so that I could reach out if I had any career questions. The relationship with my mentor was really good. Um, my mentor was Jonas Larsson. 
and uh, he has a lot of experience. In the beginning, it was uh, very nice that it was a clear, defined uh, relationship. I was the mentee, he was the mentor, and we would solely speak about my uh, career questions. So it was a really well-structured relationship, so to say. But now we've been knowing each other since five years. And whenever I came back to Stockholm, and that was roughly every six months, he made time and uh, we met up. And uh, in the beginning it was very career focused, but now it has grown to be more private. Um, up and up to this day we meet, so actually I'm meeting him next Thursday. What I liked most about the mentorship program was that I had a contact person here in Stockholm who made me feel welcome, also in the career sense. Um, so I could always reach out to him and have the feeling that someone would respond to my questions. And what I really learned from this was also how important it is to have some um, emotional net, so to say. So whenever you don't really know how to proceed or if you're unsure if this is the correct way, that someone is there and will just maybe write you an email and say, uh, you're doing great, I'm sure you will make the right choice. So really an emotional net, uh, which also gives really hands-on hands -on advice. Nice. Beautiful. Hmm? That's great. Cool. What are you thinking, Lube? Hi. My name is Julia Delin and I am the CEO of SSE Business Lab, which is the venture incubator of Stockholm School of Economics. And just like the school we belong to, our mission is to strengthen Sweden's competitiveness. But we do so by providing a platform for growth to exceptional entrepreneurs. So what does that mean? Well, if you are a student, alumni or faculty at SSE, you have the opportunity to apply to one of our three programs that support you in building an entrepreneurial foundation and building your venture. Our first program is directed towards students who have a passion for solving global challenges. During the program of 10 weeks, you get a chance to form a team and an idea together with other students. And during the course of the program, you also get in inspirational lectures and learn everything you need to know to get started with your company. Our second program is called Activate, and this is our first venture building program, which means that you already need a team and an idea to get in. But you don't need much more than that, other than having understood that this problem that you're solving is really a problem. And for this program, we go uh, through coaching and workshop each week during eight weeks. And our goal for you is to be able to create a prototype and a first customer before these eight weeks are up. You also get a chance to meet with partners, investors, and especially at our demo day at the end of the eight weeks where you get to pitch to all of these people. Our third program is called Incubate, and this is for teams with an idea that already have a prototype and a first customer and are ready to scale and grow their business beyond just this first initial market validation. We want you to have a, an ambition to grow internationally and we follow you through that journey until recurring revenue. All of these programs are made for you if you are uh, either already having started with your company, but also if you're just a budding entrepreneur waiting to get started. If so, we probably have a program for you. All of this is available to you as a student, but also as soon as you graduate and until the very end of your career. And if you're interested in building your venture while studying at one of the greatest universities in the world, I hope to see that you apply to SSE. And if so, welcome. At SSE, you will not only join a top program and a class full of ambitious and talented fellow students, you also join a global community of thousands of accomplished and impressive students and alumni spanning across generations and industries. Our alumni form a very important part of SSE. It's partly thanks to our alumni community that we can provide you with world-class research and faculty, renovated classrooms, 
guest lectures from interesting speakers, thought-provoking artwork around the school, and more. As you may already know, alumni are students who have graduated. And even though graduation may seem far away, that time will come sooner than you think, and we are here to support you on your way there. We are here to make sure that you feel part of our community, both during and after your studies at SSE. We look very much forward to welcoming you to the Stockholm School of Economics. My name is Simone Westergaard. I work with student recruitment and program marketing. In this webinar, you have learned about our mentorship program and the career support here at SSE. You will now meet three of our alums and get to know how they landed their first job and why they chose SSE. David Hakula, welcome back to SSE. Thanks so much, a pleasure being here. You graduated from the Master Program in Economics in 2020, and today you're the political advisor to the Swedish Minister for Finance. How come you decided to study at SSE? Well, uh, I did my bachelor studies here, uh, and I had a great experience then. Um, after completing my, my studies, I went out to work for one year, both in a government position, but also uh, in business life. And then I realized that, no, I, I really want to, to take a master's degree as well. Uh, and as I had had such a good uh, experience here, uh, I thought, well, let's try to apply and get back in. So I decided to, to apply for the master's in economics and later added on the master's in international management, the SEM program. And well, it was a, a great decision. Really, really liked my time. Hanna Gran, welcome back to SSE. Thank you. You graduated from the Master Program in Finance in 2015, and today you are the Sustainability Lead at Spotify. How come you decided to study at SSE? So I studied my bachelor as well at SSE, and from the beginning I was very intrigued about the kind of broad education that SSE offered, uh, that you could learn so many different things about really how society really functions. So I was intrigued by that, uh, and that also offered a very broad outlook for different pathways you could choose in your career. Uh, so that was what I was intrigued about, and then it just felt very natural to continue my master as well here, because I was so impressed by everything from the quality of the education, but also the social network that SSE offered. Helge Gernhardt, welcome back to SSE. Thank you. You graduated from the Master Programme in International Business with a SEMS double degree in 2018. Uh, you are the founder of the real estate company REM Sweden. Tell us, how come you decided to study at SSE? So, I first um, got in contact with Sweden in 2014 and I was uh, intrigued by the Swedish culture, which um, motivated me to pursue a master's in Sweden. And um, then I uh, looked around and also applied to SSE. And when I came to the assessment center and I felt the dynamic, the energy uh, in this building, I was uh, convinced that I would start here if I got accepted and then it worked out and I was really happy. So it was um, really this energy of many ambitious people who want to uh, live up to their potential and um, have an impact, do something great. So how did you get your first job after graduating from SSE? Well, first of all, I would like to mention that SEC really provides you with a lot of different opportunities. Uh, so I was very interested in working in economics, for example. So I got the opportunity to both work as a teaching assistant in macroeconomics together with uh, Professor David Domey. And I also got the, uh, the opportunity to work as a research assistant together with Professor uh, Anna Dreber. And to really get that hands-on experience, uh, that is super nice. Also, SSE provides you with a highly entrepreneurial setting. I mean, we have the business lab and we have a lot of driven students, students coming from different backgrounds. So together with four students uh, from SSE and KTH, the Royal Institute for Technology, uh, we put together a team and, and created a, a, a company uh, just trying to, to help Swedish businesses become better at digitalization. And this you know, combination of different opportunities, it, it really um, gives you a, uh, it puts you in a good position to, to start your working life. And I think that uh, it really helped me uh, get a good start to, to work as a political advisor in the Swedish government. 
How did you get your first job after graduating from SSE? Um, I knew that I wanted to um, go back to Berlin and uh, SSE with its entrepreneurial uh, mindset taught me a lot about digitalization and innovation and entrepreneurship and I also knew that I wanted to work with real estate. So what I pursued was uh, Berlin, uh, real estate and innovation and I ended up being responsible for a large uh, city quarter um, um, development in the center of Berlin and their digital efforts. So we defined what would a future or a futuristic um, city quarter development look like, what would tenants expect and I was responsible for drafting that, uh, that uh, concept and then also uh, choosing on companies to implement it. So it was actually when I wrote my master's thesis, uh, I did a load of different interviews. I focused on what is kind of the value of sustainability. Uh, why do you firms focus on it from a more financial perspective? So I did many interviews and one of them was with the private equity firm EQT that was just about to set up their own sustainability team. So I actually joined their sustainability team when it was founded. And that was solely based on the interview I did for the thesis. So what would you then say is your main takeaway from SSE? Well, it's so dif difficult to just point out one thing because, I mean, SSE is a school that not only gives you an, uh, an education for the job market, it gives you an education for life, I think. Uh, but I think if I would have to just really nail it down into one sentence or, well, not one sentence, but one thing, I think it's the ability to take a problem and break it down analytically into smaller parts that are more manageable and then really provide the leadership necessary for a team to tackle that problem also in practice. So combine theory with practice and to really go forward and, and tackle the problem head on. Yeah, probably handles uh, I, I really, really like that because then you always had the, what you learned was so closely combined with an actual career pathway. So that was great, I think, that SSE did that. And that is the big career fair exactly. held every year at SSE. Exactly. Mm. So with all this said, do you have any advice for our future students on how to make the most of their time at SSE and how to lay the groundwork for their future careers? Well, I think that they should be prepared to work hard. Uh, it's. Uh, periodically quite hectic. I mean, the exam periods, uh, you have to put in the, the hours necessary to, uh, to, to uh, you know, really handle the studies. But also be prepared to have a lot of fun, meet a lot of new friends, uh, meet people from different backgrounds with different interests. So I guess one sentence that uh, I think really sums it up is uh, uh, play hard and work hard. Um, so SSE opens a lot of doors and uh, a lot of um, students uh, seek uh, traditional paths uh, in management consulting or investment, but SSE uh, offers a lot of different paths. Um, and I chose real estate plus innovation, but there are also many other ways where you could go from SSE. So coming here with an open mindset, not um, thinking uh, just the traditional way, but really considering all the doors that SSE opens and then choosing one that fits, fits best to one. That should be one of the guiding questions when starting here. This is it from us. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found it helpful and inspiring. This is the last webinar in the series. And if you haven't watched the previous two, make sure you sign up and watch them on demand. If you have any further questions, please contact our admissions team. We wish you the best of luck with your application and hope to see you soon here at the Stockholm School of Economics.